right, Bill, it's been a minute. We're back. We're I kicking know it. it's been a minute, and you keep sticking this camera in my face, <laughs> and you guys, you and Maddie and all the boys want me to come up with these clever things to say right, and right. all this witty stuff, and to be honest with you, I'm like, out. I don't, I'm not a camera guy. I don't have a lot to say, you know? I'm not really thinking about doing videos in the middle of the day here, Shane. That's fine. That's why I'm here. I say we go visit some job sites today. We're going Maybe to see visit what the boys some are job doing. sites. Okay. You know, yeah. sound a little different from what we're used to. Okay. So yeah, you want me to be witty and litty? I feel and I feel like shitty today. Okay. <laughs> today was a rough day, man. We what had, happened today? We had a great cave for today. Yep. All set up, ready to go. Dropped the equipment Saturday. Had it all swept, marked out, ready to go. Got there this morning, the guy's getting deliveries, he can't go, so 7.30 this morning we had a scramble. So we had a couple jobs that we went and did, but um, I had seven trucks on the job where I only needed four. Um, but we fought through it, we don't yep. complain. No. We're, we're um, you know, we do, we don't complain. There's always something to do. Yeah, but we're, we're problem solvers, we're not, we're not complainers, so <laughs> we gotta shift gears, you know, shoot from the hip. Actually, we're pulling up on we did this project Friday. Went in here Thursday, milled it out, um, cut out a new section by the building, which was all grass, added new pavement there, changed two new drain chops, installed the pipe, uh, milled this whole project Thursday, put the drains in, cut the grass out, uh, paved it Friday, uh, curbed it Friday afternoon, and they just striped um, this morning. Wow. And uh, these guys are done. So I'm going to the shop and I'm going to get a bill for this fella. Because <laughs> we need to get paid. Um, That's right. But these are good customers. We've been actually this piece in the back here. Yep. Um, we did all this work here. He calls every few years and does something. Yeah, okay, we put in all that. So these guys are good people, good customers. And um, they got a new parking lot. They were actually on shutdown last week because the, um, they're retooling inside for some big job. So they were empty here, which was good. Yeah. And uh, we blasted this parking lot Beautiful. out. Um, and we actually did this Friday. And I'm going to show you around the corner. We dropped another one, too. Same crew. And then I sent half the guys back to put the curbs on. <laughs> What's easier to pave, parking lot or road? Road is Definitely easy. Yeah. Roads are easier really? work. Roads are easier work, but roads are a lot more stressful yeah. because you got traffic. Yep. It depends on the road. But a road, you're only doing a pass on the left and a pass on That's the right. True. You know, parking lots, you got corners, stops, manholes, covers, caps, uh, you know, parking lot physically is a lot more right. work. You know, I got the A-team, bro. You know, my boys kick ass. Man, Can I no. swear? Go ahead. Bamf is a badass motherfucker. There we go. <laughs> you know what they say when you strap up your size 12 work boot in the morning? I'm ready for whatever <laughs> comes next, baby. That's it. <laughs> right? That's it. So you actually caught me today because I'm rebooting everything. So yeah. Tomorrow's job scheduled for Wednesday. Wednesday's job oh, scheduled man. for Friday. Uh, phone ringing off the hook. So yeah. here's my list for this week. And none of this is happening. No. We actually, um, I got a call from Newtown this morning. They got two miles of road that's milled out over there. Um, and uh, we did not do the mill. They had another company do the mill. Yep. And they poked through like in oh. 10, 10 areas. And now there's gravel all over oh. the road. So he wants me ASAP to go Call over there. Call the expert, right? No, we got to go in there and um, put down a leveling course to, because they went too deep. Oh. Um, because there's rock all over the road. I mean, like two-inch rock. And uh, residents aren't happy. No, no, no. So that's another shift, you know? Yep. Forward, reverse. Okay, so here you are with the camera again. Yeah. So, you know, everyone <laughs> says, you know, everyone wants to create, get on social media and create content, right? Create content. Um, I'm not a social media guy, right? You know that. I don't have a Facebook. I don't have nope. an Instagram. I don't follow. I don't do any of that. But we do have one for our business because I guess it was... And I guess I hit 100K today too, huh? We hit 100K the today. Yeah. We hit 100K today. Isn't the that? Little Red Express, baby. <laughs> yeah, we hit 100K. But I'll tell you, the, you know, we feel yeah. creating content... Um, just being ourselves. I mean, we're not right. looking to create content. I think if you just be yourself and if you're willing to take the heat, because you yep. know you get a bunch of nasty comments, That's right. you know, how come this and how come that yeah. and what's up and down and what's left and right. <laughs> um, but 
you are the content, right? Yep. And I mean, this has been going on for a dozen years now. And you know, once the I think the boys took one picture and put it on MySpace, and it got a hundred clicks. Um, they didn't have to tell me twice because yeah. I'm an advertising I'm an advertising fool. Um, we always branded our name from the beginning of time. Nothing like social media, right? No. Uh, I mean, how do you get a hundred thousand? I got people clicking me from Argentina. It's crazy. Um, asking me if I want to go do their driveway in there in, in <laughs> Nicaragua, you know. There's nothing in the history of business that can that's even come close to to getting your name out there yeah. like social media, yeah. right? That's true. So, you know, and creating content, you know, and everyone's looking to, you know, light a building on fire and put that online. Um, we just do what just we yourself. do. We yeah. just do what we do, you know, and this is what we do. We've been doing the same thing forever. Right. Um, and I guess we must be doing something right because I think, and maybe you know better than I, we must be the largest followed paving company in the, yeah. in, the, in, the, in the country, if 100%. not the world, right? 100%. Who else got 100,000 followers and they're laying asphalt? I don't know. Huh? I don't know anybody. No. It's possible, but like I said, I don't follow it. You know, the content will create itself, right? Right. right. Plus, I got you with the camera sticking <laughs> in my face. Now you have a pretty face, right? Huh? So this was job two Friday, and they came here this morning and did the curbing. So we're going to check on this. Still got some equipment here, but uh, looks like most of it's gone. So we popped this off Friday afternoon. This was another 450 ton, but it was pretty easy. Besides how flat it was, it's mm. like one percent all the way across, but it was pretty square. We actually had two crews here and we banged it out. So my boy here just told me that one island looks two feet short. Tell him is what is short. We'll see. We follow the sticks. Now it's my fault, right? <laughs> oh yeah, it is short. Again, we're not gonna complain, we're problem solvers, right? Huh? They want two more feet of curb, we'll give them two more feet of curb. <laughs> just get the check ready. Right. From here. Right from here out. Yep. Because they're reconfiguring all this island and this entrance, and they couldn't do this until that was done. So now the traffic's got to move over to the back. They're going to prepare all this for us, and then we got to come in and finish this. Mm -hmm. And then I can get my check. <laughs> and then he can get his two feet of island. We are here for the check, right? That's right. Yeah. yeah. Mama needs money. So this is a Toll Brothers project been going on for years um, I don't know how many units are up here maybe there's gonna be 1500 2000 units um, everything you see here this entire road system we've paved actually twice now um, everything to the every parking lot driveway all these roads here we've been coming in taking a bite of this apple um, they have phase one, two, three, four. I think we're on phase four or five. They're gonna hit one more phase, which is gonna be a few hundred more units. Everything to your right, all of this. And this has been going on for a number of years. Um, this is like mailbox money because there's always work here, you know? Yeah, it's, I know. It's just continuous, you know, whether we've gotta come fix a piece of road, whether they dug up a section, whether they're building a new one, we gotta go through the driveways, or we gotta put the binder down, or now we're top coating up here. And this project was a little interesting um, because what happened up here um, was they installed all the base coat. And there's the boys here. They've been up here a couple of days fixing these driveways for these people. Um, so what happened was, see these belt and block curbing? Yep. I don't know if it was the fill, the belt and blocks weren't installed right, um, probably all the above. It's wet up here. Um, but anyways, the belt and block heaved, cracked the driveways, so they came in and tore out all the blocks Damn. on 140 driveways. Damn. And then had us saw cut, remove all the asphalt, and patch it all back in because um, they did away with the blocks. They don't want them anymore. Wow. Uh, the homeowners were, they were high, they were low in the winter time. Some of the asphalt was sticking up two inches higher than the blocks. Um, so they came in huge cost and tore out all the blocks, thousands of them, threw 
through this entire project. And I think, like I said, there's 140 driveways. So we had to come in and patch 140 driveways, wow. cut them, remove them, um, and fill them. Jeez. Now we're getting ready to put the top coat on. So tomorrow um, we have about 70 ready to go. So tomorrow we're going to pave 70 of these little suckers right here. Some of them are not as long as the paver. If there wasn't 70 of them, I would just do them by hand, actually, because they're 20 <laughs> feet long and 8 feet wide, 10 feet wide. Um, but there's so many of them. We're going to set crazy. the paver up um, and roll right down these, and we're going to drop hopefully 70 tomorrow. My record is 90, so yes, I can do 70. <laughs> so they just finished this, and we actually took a few days here because last week it was 95 yeah, and roasting. So I had them come in like 12 or 1 o'clock, I knocked them off, then we went back the next day, did a few more, and did a few more, and uh, I took it easy on the guys because it was all hand work. Yeah. Um, so tomorrow we're coming in, gonna top all these driveways. Once that's done, now we gotta come across here and mill right across a nice straight line all the way down these driveways and cut off everything we just did straight and then we gotta pave the road um, and hopefully this project what's today monday yeah um tomorrow driveways uh trim and mill wednesday hopefully thursday we'll finish this the roads are actually not that much um just the driveway is so tedious right yeah yeah a lot of you know work involved no. and look at the um i mean they, they did they must have did 40, 50 of them today. Um, and again, we didn't mess with the front. Normally we would stick a two by four up against them and make them nice and straight. But there was so much work doing that. We figured we would just pave past them, take the milling machine, zip them off, be faster. It cost us a few good tons, but um, it was saved us a lot of time. Right. And uh, then this phase will be completed and then they're gonna start on another phase. It's probably start to finish this. Is, I, they started this in 2000 and they didn't even start clearing phase five or six whatever yeah. it is and this phase over here um, this, there must be 800 units in there this place is huge I actually had four pieces of equipment sitting here this morning all mobilized and ready to go and um, this afternoon we didn't do any work here and it's gone because it's got to go elsewhere <laughs> um so this is carol Lindsay's market in danbury i think the boys had some photos of this the other day because yeah. there's a lot going on in this parking lot here uh, two percents everywhere for the handicaps are all over the place um all around the back of the building there's nothing straight in this entire lot um, and we wanted to pave it today because it's supposed to, it's in the 70s and the mm -hmm. rest of the week's going to be 95 degrees um but yeah, we have um, this detention system right here with all of these caps, um, which is you know what a pain. All, huh? Well, it's a lot of <laughs> a lot of handwork, um, a lot of handwork. Um, and there's probably I'm not going to say a thousand, but I bet you close to 900 and change here <laughs> for tonnage, front to back. Um, and uh, it's going to be a day's work here, buddy, for sure. G-shaped islands, and then they got two of these babies going right through the middle of the lot. More caps, sidewalks. We need some real estate, you know, to <laughs> come in and, you know, we take up some room, man. We're glad to have work. We'll shuffle the deck if we have to. We're happy to have work. Um, and you know we did this piece of road here for them. Yeah, that's All right. right. All right. Okay, I'm going to hit my transition. I'm going to speed up. Let's see if we feel a bump. Feel a bump? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> You do a state road, that's one thing right there. No bump, everyone's happy. That's all you gotta do, no bump. We gotta pick up this stray here, he got left behind. <laughs> we got a straggler. 100K, baby. <laughs> all right, we got a big announcement to make, but we're gonna make this super casual. We're just making a little makeshift uh, press conference background, so give us five minutes. Big announcement, super casual.
All right, this is stressful. All right, all right. Morning World of Asphalt. We are here today, August 1st. It's got a little milestone going on today. Our social media account hit 100,000 followers. Uh, we want to thank everyone for following us, helping us out build our brand. We are here to not only build our brand, but make awareness of our industry, of everything that goes on day to day in the, in the paving industry. And we feel that we are leaders in the industry of what's going on every day in the industry. We also have another milestone that we are very proud to be involved with. We have now become John Deere and Work in America brand ambassadors. So we are brand ambassadors now for the John Deere Equipment Company. We have a lot of John Deere equipment. As most of you are aware of that John Deere acquired working about five years ago. So not only do we have excavators, loaders, skid steers, all made by John Deere, now we have paving equipment made by John Deere. We've been John Deere customers for 40 years. We've, I've been running Deere's my entire life. Always been great equipment. The product support is second to none, and that's why we are John Deere guys. Now that we have working, Hom and Vogel involved, we're ecstatic. Not only that we can operate their equipment, but that we can be a part of their team. And we're really excited to move in the ball forward. Uh, 100,000 views, viewers, subscribers, what do you call them? Followers. Followers. And we are Supporters. moving to 10 million because us and Deere are doing big things. Uh, the boys are actually going to Germany. Um, thanks to John Deere, they're going to the bomber show and we're going to continue to support John Deere and we're going to continue to support the industry and in moving the ball forward and showing the whole world what road building is really about. Thank you, thanks to John Deere and thank you to all our followers. We're really excited about this. So a lot of people are going to ask online when you're out, how does this happen, right? Um, it's not just flashy videos on YouTube. It's not just having a cool Instagram account. Don't be fooled. This has been 30 years in the making. Mom and dad put a lot of time and effort into this. Um, and just having a social media account that made everything blow up. Always were on point with our branding. Always did good work. Um, now we're showing the world what we're doing. Um, so just to be able to be a brand ambassador for John Deere and working equipment. Those are two iconic brands. So to be partnered up with them on something like this. Um, it's really an honor, so, um, Jack? <laughs> okay, we're gonna get Jack to talk now, no, no. but Jack is, a, the, Jack is a highly skilled, high-end operator of heavy-duty equipment, and um, uh, if, if the more technical, the better. So this is the guy here, he's going to Germany, they're gonna do a walk through the factory with him, and um, he's gonna tell them everything that he needs on his new milling machine that we're buying next year, and, um, you're gonna sit them straight, right, Jack? Yep, we're gonna sit them straight. I'm excited, I'm pumped up. Can't wait to uh, get started and uh, can't wait to uh, see what comes out of it. So, right. yeah, excited. When I went to, um, you might've saw on our Instagram account, I got invited to the John Deere Classic. Actually, the whole family did, but I was the only one lucky enough to go. Um, so I got to meet a lot of the executives from John Deere and um, they were super cool. They care, they're young, they're hip. You know, them partner up with a brand like ours, um, it's just really exciting. And like they said, we can't wait for everything to come to fruition. So, see you at work. That's how you keep your equipment clean. 